Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Jazz, and today I'm gonna share with you how I make my ceviche at home. It's literally my favorite thing to eat on a hot summer day. It's cool, refreshing, and delicious. It has sour and tang, so all the good stuff for summer. I do want to say that the ingredients are not the traditional ceviche ingredients, but they're just as delicious. I have the weirdest obsession with ketchup, specifically Heinz ketchup, and that's the best one. Anyways, that's going to be incorporated in my ceviche. So it is not traditional, like I said, so the ceviche police don't come for me. I already said it was not traditional, but it's still bomb. So. Let's go. So what I'm using is a tilapia fish. This fish is super duper fresh. You can only use fresh fish. It shouldn't have like a weird, funky, fishy smell. So that's how you know it's really, really good. What I'm doing is cutting them into bite-sized cubes. I also like to use cooked shrimp for this, but you can also use raw shrimp. Just make sure it's peeled and deveined. Using a ton of limes. I highly recommend getting a citrus juicer to get the juice out. It's just easier than squeezing a hard lime with just your hands. And filling up the bowl with as much juice. So one non-traditional ingredient I like to use is tri-colored cherry tomatoes. My favorite thing about these tomatoes is that they're pretty sweet. The seeds aren't hard. I'm just cutting them into four and they're just so pretty for summer because there's yellow, there's green tomatoes, there's orange, and there's red. So look how colorful and pretty that looks. Adding that into my bowl, gonna give it a little tossy toss. This recipe is actually really healthy too. So I like it for summer because it's healthy and refreshing. So another non-traditional ingredient is an English cucumber. What I like about these cucumbers is that the skin is very soft. No need for peeling. The seeds are soft. You don't need to deseed it. It is perfect just like that and it's quicker. It's quicker to use these for me than the other cucumbers. We're just slicing up a red onion. Cut these a little bit smaller than the other ingredients. Like so. Add that in. And you can see how colorful everything is. It is so pretty. It just screams summer. Adding in some salt little bit of black pepper and mixing it all up here we have a jalapeno I'm just going to take the seeds out I also like to add serrano chilies so if you want a double kick add both of them this time I just wanted jalapeno so do as you please it is your meal to create cutting them in small pieces. I definitely need gloves to cut jalapenos or my hands will burn. I don't know if this just me and I'm weak or what, but I need them gloves, okay? So add that in, mix it up, and some minced garlic. Make sure your garlic is finely minced. You don't want to bite on a big chunk of garlic. And here I have some lemon juice. I just had a couple extra lemons in the fridge, so I'm just adding that in. Here we have some Kent mangoes. They are the firm mangoes, cutting them into little cubes. And the sweetness kind of just balances out the citrus of the lime and the lemon. So I love to add this in there. So pretty and you already know what time it is it is time to add some Heinz ketchup okay honestly after I put this amount I did add more I just love the sweetness and the tomato 
in my ceviche so just chopping up some cilantro and adding that in so yummy you guys i literally crave this one this is summer i could eat this often i eat this definitely at least four times a month and so i'm just mixing everything through and I'm gonna put a saran wrap on top and it's gonna go in the fridge for 20 to 30 minutes. In 20 minutes, it'll be kinda like poke style, but if you want it more firm, you're gonna definitely leave it on for 30 minutes or more in the fridge. So here we have it, 30 minutes later, my ceviche is done. My fish is firm from the citrus and the lime and the lemon. So it has that cooked texture. And even the next day, it's still good. But you don't want to go on beyond two days because the fish will lose its texture. All right, and you guys can see how simple and easy that was. You literally chop everything up and put it in the fridge to let it marinate. And 20 minutes later, you have a delicious meal. And also, if fish is not your thing, you can also use shrimp. That's what I also like to use. I like to use cooked shrimp, and I just make sure it's peeled and deveined. You can also use raw shrimp peeled in the vein as well. Also, if you guys wanna check out my Amazon finds, you can see in the link below, I have my Amazon affiliate link. I actually have my sharp knife that I use in the video and those glass bowls and more. My kitchen stuff, my home stuff, my furry friend stuff, and everything in between. So make sure you guys go check that out. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and stay tuned. Bye guys, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.